So I just finished up a can of hot chocolate and I'm about to throw it out and I find it's got a kind of cool sound to it. I think I want to record a little rhythm, it might be kind of useful. I'm going to use voice memos. Open voice memos. There we go. Let's record that. I'll allow. Okay. See what I can salvage from that. So here's my new voice memo recording. It's not named. That's fine. I'm going to swipe to the left and under more actions, I'm going to go share and I'm just going to airdrop it to my computer. And now we can see it there. So I've just got a default template opened. I'm going to hit command shift I for my import audio. And let's go to my downloads folder and we can find the new recording right here. And I'm just going to open it directly in here. I'll allow, and let me just turn off my click. We can start. So what I'm gonna do is calculate the tempo of it. I'm gonna use smart tempo, and I'm gonna make it a bit easier for smart tempo by just trimming it right to the first transient. I'm just gonna zoom right in, trim it right at the beginning. I don't have to do this, but I'm pretty sure it'll work more smoothly. Command T to trim it, and then we'll just start it maybe at bar four, and I'm gonna use the semicolon key to snap this into position. And what I'm going to do is hit E to open the editors and go to the smart tempo editor. And I'm going to go analyze. So now let me hit G to open my global track and we'll see the tempo map. What I can do is under here, go apply region tempo to project tempo. And I probably don't technically need that, but let's hit apply. And there it is. So let's listen to this now in conjunction with my quarter note click that I have here. All right, that works nicely. So I'm going to end it here. Let me just go Command T to trim that. And what I'm going to do now is have a nice four bar loop. I'm going to select it and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put on flex and follow and it's analyzing the transients. Now I can just make this one consistent tempo. So let me just go to my tempo list over here. I'll go select all and just command click that first one, just delete everything. And I can enter any tempo I want and it'll play back now and follow the click. All right, that works fine. All right, I've added some processing on. Here's our original. Channel EQ. Compression. Dialed in in parallel. Ring shifter. Give that high rhythm that's being generated. A little bit of console EQ. I like the scoop down here in the low mids and adding a bit of drive. Pitch shifting. Real nice quality. And when invert is on, you get a nice stereo imaging effect. It works both ways. And finally, one last channel EQ to dip around 880. I've added in an Apple loop. And I've also quantized this because we have flex and follow on, I can just choose a quantized value from here. And I added an alchemy part. So all this inspired from this original rhythm played on my hot chocolate can. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert.